What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Car Guy Chronicles. And today I'm so happy to inform you the Camaro has found a new home. No, I'm joking. It did find a new home. She found a home in the garage. Yes, I finally made it happen. I, um, in my messy garage, of course, I was able to make some space for the Camaro sitting next to the Mustang. Um, I had moved my fridge, which was here, and moved it over there, and then put the cabin in here so that the Camaro can just barely fit in here. Yes, my garage sucks. It's small. Full of tools, though. So, um, quick little video today. I just wanted to update you on the Camaro. My one-month ownership today, April 18th, I purchased it. Today is May 18th, and exactly one month i am one happy son of a bitch i am loving this car every second of it i am one having one issue with it and that is that i can't punch it yet and see that's a kind of a topic i wanted to talk about today that a lot of people ask about that of course when i bought this car i had to search it um it's actually in your owner's manual but i typically search the internet for this because see what other people do um, the break-in period, the worst part of buying a car. You know, when you buy a new car, you're always excited. You get to show your friends, you get to drive around town, you get to look at it, it's pretty, you're in love with it, you're so excited. The worst part is, you can't punch it. You simply can't, because you gotta break it in first. So, like I said, right now, I'm, about, I'm at about 783 miles in one month, which is like nothing in a month. Um, I work two miles away from home, so, I really don't drive too much. I drove it to West Palm a couple times, so trying to rack on some miles, but also trying to keep it low. Um, so what I wanted to, to bring this up for is because everyone should know, you know, you know, some people look it up, your braking period, and it's good to know. Um, several people will give you several different answers. A lot of people do their own things. Damn, all I need is a white car in the middle. I got American flag. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Those are some bald eagles right there. So. Um, a lot of people will tell me that, oh, just get to 500 miles. They told me, you know, just change you and beat the piss out of it. Well, GM in the owner's manual, I can't tell you which page. Just go to your table of contents and go to break-in period. Um, it tells you 1,500 miles is their required break-in period or recommended break-in period. Um, I'm a little impatient, so I'm not going to wait 1,500 miles. I figured I'm almost at 1,000. To me, I think a thousand miles is plenty, plenty of miles for a break-in. I think it's broken in really up to 500, but that thousand plays it safe. You're in the middle of what GM suggests and what, you know, and what you, what some people others suggest. So I think that's fair. Um, reason I'm also talking about this, because I got a package in the mail today. As we scoop by this car in this tight spot, at least I'm not fat, right? I got a package in the mail. I actually got a couple of them, but we're going to show you one right now. This package is from AutoZone, because they carry it, and that is, bam, or bam, a Mobile One oil filter. Yes, we're going to be changing the oil very soon. That is the oil filter I kind of like to use in Mobile One. Um, I also use, let me get this here, the Mobile One 5W30. I, I happen to think they have great oil. So we're going to be changing the oil at 1,000 miles. I'll be taking a trip to Manny's garage, and he's got a lift. It's so much easier to change it on a lift. He's got the drip pan and everything. Just makes my life a hell of a lot easier. So we're going to be taking a trip to Manny's. We're going to be changing that oil. We're going to hit 1,000 miles. This is probably the next video or the video after. Probably we're looking at next week. Next week, we're changing the oil. We're going to lower that car off of the lift. The minute we change the oil, I'm going to drive her, and I am going to do a 0 to 60, and we might even go faster. Um, of course, we will totally document the first zero to 60. I feel like it's going to feel like a rocket to me because I haven't drove fast in like a month <laughs> and I feel like my freaking five, seven Hemi Ram is fast right now. Like that's crazy, man. He's got the same, uh, actually we just talked about it like an hour ago on the phone. He has the same exact idea. His Ram feels fast. You know why? Because he hasn't driven anything close to 400 horsepower in like three months and his Mustang's gonna be pushing in the seven so he's gonna have a hard time or he's gonna have a lot of fun of course getting in that Mustang once she's ready um, blow by racing has been a little delayed so we're looking at next week now to go pick the car up get a dyno stuff like that so he's a little impatient at the moment of course I would be the same way I mean you want your damn car back you know so 
that's all happening. But what I did want to give you right now is a nice cold start. <laughs> a towel hitting out of my trunk well that's like the first thing you hit when you kind of are sliding by so it kind of protects my bumper from anybody scratching my car i'm anal like that so hope you enjoyed that little cold start uh i'm gonna run some errands today so i figure I might as well give you that because i am super excited to drive this car um haven't driven it in a couple of days uh i did give it a quick wash yesterday in the rain sounds a little crazy but it was i got like that 10 minute gap where it wasn't raining so threw soap on it i washed it real good and then parked it back in the garage and dried it because it was it's been pouring here i know a lot of places the weather's been terrible just terrible it's been pouring here since last i think thursday today's saturday and it's supposed to rain throughout till like monday tuesday wednesday so it's been awful and for us for someone who's doing youtube videos it is so hard to record when it's raining you can't do anything or manny and i had so many things planned for the channel this weekend and unfortunately because of the weather i can't be doing too much um uh, that's why i am doing this shorter video um because i did want to talk about the break-in period I, I think that's an important issue to talk about because some people like i said have their views on what to do i know you will have your own opinions but oof, beautiful car um i think a thousand miles is your safest bet definitely change the oil before you go ham on it just to be safe you want to get that braking oil out of that engine um, but like I showed you guys 5w30 is the required oil to use for that thing just a couple pointers too by the way on what the braking period kind of needs to have is uh, number one you don't want to speed as in you don't want to really haul ass and punch it obviously um, number two you want to keep the rpms flowing kind of up and down you never want to keep them still and you don't want to stay at the same speed either so if you're going like 60 and you're on the highway you kind of want to keep going from like 60 to 70 but yeah so that that's kind of the braking period would entail those are like the most important parts don't rev your engine too much don't be doing crazy racing downshifting you're not supposed to be speeding so you know li little things like that you don't want to go above 80 miles an hour either that's another thing so like little hints as to what the braking period entails those things are right there also one very important thing drive carefully so i did want to give you guys a quick little futuristic look into what's going on with the camaro um just some future mods and how i'm going to be planning it out that's why i'm going with ibox springs first they'll be here on wednesday um the reason number one is because i'm kind of basing it off mileage whether i really want to throw headers in a car that has a thousand miles on it um i think the best thing to do is put a thousand miles we're going to change the oil the same day next week we change the oil we're going to lower the car with the lowering springs get the alignment probably a couple days after after the springs settle but once those springs settle we'll get the car off we'll do some zero to 60s we'll get that all squared away after that at 1500 miles we're going to take this bad girl to pbr we're going to see what she does in a quarter mile bone stock after that 2000 miles once we hit that 2000 mile mark for ordering texas speed long tube one and seven eighths headers we're going to slap them on there we're going to keep the npp exhaust with an off-road connection pipe and that's it that's it we're going to run her right from there after we put the headers in we're going to tune the car we're going to see what she does in a quarter mile after she's modified so that way you get a little comparison as to what it's like with you know stock and then with some headers some cool content so and manny will be running his car as well so we'll get to see what the what the mustang does with 700 and something horse and torque it's gonna be really cool so two blue cars at pbr gonna be cool all right i'm just gonna show you guys the next like i'm saying future videos you're gonna be seeing is ah, we got a little box here from lux auto concepts i'm not telling you what they are i'm just telling you they're here that's it that's the box it's gonna be cool so like i said every video you watch you're gonna see something different something different something different and I'm not trying to do everything that everyone else does. So I'm trying to do little mods that are different. Um, we're going to do some custom mods too that are designed by us. So going to be pretty cool. So that's just some future, future things that are going on with the Camaro. Definitely something to stay tuned for. Definitely something to subscribe for. Because you're going to want to see a transformation from a basic 1LE to something crazy. So stay watching. Yeah, so you're probably going to see why I wear glasses most of the time on this. is because <clears throat> when I'm recording... If I look anywhere else, it looks like I'm looking other places, see? It's annoying. 
But anyways, we're in the Ram, just got to work. Uh, it is pouring, absolutely pouring. You can probably hear it happening right now and it's driving me crazy. The Camaro's resting safely in the garage, away from the rain, still clean. Um, I do want to say thank you guys for an amazing 700 subscribers in like two and a half months, three months almost. I think we're going at a really rapid rate um, and we are absolutely loving every second of it. I thank you guys so much. We love making these videos for you. Um, I'm sorry this one wasn't too action packed, but like I said, it's just been raining really bad every day and there's not much we can do with our cars in the rain. If, if my car was broken in, I'd be doing donuts. Hell yeah. So um, stay tuned. Enter the giveaway by hitting that subscribe button. It's an easy button to click. You know, two hundred dollars is the uh, the prize, and at a thousand follow, uh, subscribers, we're giving it away. So, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.